What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be showing you the best mouse and keyboard for the Xbox Series X. And if at any point during the video, if you want to check out the mouse and keyboard in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. I do got you guys. But let me show you the mouse and keyboard. All right, so the keyboard is the Techware Phantom 87. This is a 10 keyless keyboard. And again, I'm trying to keep it all budget for you guys. This thing is under 50 bucks. It's about 45, 46 bucks. All the top of it is metal. It is extremely solid. It's got really bright RGB. So if you wanted to put some custom keycaps on that, you could do that. Overall, it's got a really nice design. It says Phantom right there. Overall, just a really pretty design. It's got flip up feet on the back of it. It also has three different cable channels so you can switch where the cable is coming from, which is really cool. It's also rock solid uh, and for 45, 46 bucks, you're getting a really solid typing experience. This is using Outemu Browns. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a tactile switch. So if you guys like a more tactile keyboard, you're gonna like this. Just come in here and get a sound test really quick. For the price of this thing, if you guys don't know keyboards, it's really, really nice. Now let's come over to the mouse. This is a mouse that I've used quite a bit. I've used the Techware Phantom a lot, but this mouse I've used a ton. This is the Logitech G502. One, you can see it's been used. Secondly, you can see how cool this mouse is. It's all grippy and rubbery right there. Same on this side. You also got a ton of programmable buttons, which is really cool. You got all of that RGB that's all customizable. A really good sensor. It's very accurate. And again, guys, remember with this setup, you don't need like a crazy high polling rate because the Xbox Series X can only take a 1000 Hertz polling rate. So this mouse, the G502 is a great option. And again, this thing's around 45, 46 bucks. So together you're looking at this setup uh, of only being, you know, well under a hundred bucks, which is pretty crazy. Now let's go over the setup of this. On the Series X, you have a USB right here, and then you got two more on the back side of it. Let me just turn this back right here. And you can see back here, this is the mouse plugged in, and this is the keyboard. So literally as far as the setup goes, you plug them in and then they're ready to go. Let me show you. Okay, so back here, when you're at the home screen, right, controllers off, completely the mouse you won't be able to use it on the home page okay however it will be working once you plug it in now when you're on the home screen for navigation you're going to use the arrow keys which is why i picked a 10 key less because if you picked a 60 percent then you're not going to get all of those arrow keys so you can see i can move around and go up and down look at all of my apps whatever if i wanted to go down to my games and apps hit enter all of that works hit escape to go back it's very easy especially if you guys are coming from a PC, this will be very intuitive. Again, that's another reason that you might want to have a keyboard and mouse setup because if you have the Xbox Series X here on the desk, right? And then right over here, I got my PC, it's very messy, don't judge it. But I have both of these hooked up to this monitor right now and I can just switch between them uh, and keep the peripherals. And that's something that's really nice. Instead of having to relearn or get better at a controller like this, not that it's not great because it is great in something like Forza Horizon, but for something like Warzone, this is gonna be better. So let's go through, let's jump into some Halo and show you how this works. Now I will say, this doesn't work on every game. All games um, are going to have their own weird things happening. So for instance, in Halo 4, the mouse and everything is connected, but you can see on here on the screen, it says, please reconnect your controller to continue. So it's kind of strange, but the controller needs to be on once the controller's on and paired, it goes back to normal and then set that down, never use it. And then I can use the mouse and keyboard. And you can see how nice. I mean, this isn't like weird or anything. It works just like it would with a PC. It's actually pretty cool. All right, but let's try another game because not all games actually work with this. And then going over to World War Z and let's see if it'll work in something like World War Z because it's really based on the developers to enable keyboards and mice to work. Okay, so you can see here, Controller is working fine, can move around, do anything. However, no, mouse and keyboard does not work in something like World War Z. Now that is a downside so that not every single game will have mouse and keyboard support. Uh, that being said, a lot of them do. Something like Call of Duty, Warzone, all of those are gonna have keyboard and mouse support. But guys, I'll tell you, coming from not a console player, I've used consoles a lot, 
really fond memories with them. But when I'm gaming, I'm doing it mainly through a PC. I love mouse and keyboard. That's what I rock. I'm better at it. And in some games like Forza Horizon, you're going to want to use a controller. It's a better experience. But... Overall, if you guys are a PC user and you just got an Xbox Series X or an Xbox One, all of this stuff will work on a One, a Series S, a Series X, and you wanna keep your skill level because the skill level is all about what you're using, whether that be a controller or a mouse and keyboard. If you wanna keep your skill level but still move to a console, this is a great way to do it. But again, guys, 45, 46 bucks, 45, 46 bucks. Really trying to keep this budget for you guys. Again, again, if you do wanna go check out this mouse or a keyboard, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys, but really, after you try an Xbox with a mouse and keyboard, it's fantastic. It's so much fun, especially if you're a PC user or if you're somebody that is trying to increase your KD ratio, increase your accuracy, mouse and keyboard is gonna do that for you. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out. Definitely subscribe if you're looking for more Xbox Series X content. We are gonna be doing some tests whether a lot of games can hit 4K at 120 frames per second uh, very, very soon and a bunch of other stuff. So definitely subscribe below to Consumer Tech Review if you want more content like this. But this was Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys later.